welcome to my monthly favorites. I am getting this up in a timely manner, pat on my back. Um, I have quite a few favorites here to show you guys, so I'm going to go through them relatively quickly so it's not a super long video, although I know some of you do appreciate the super long videos. And um, let me just say I'm glad August is over. I know I'm usually like, this month went by fast, but August dragged on. It was so slow. It was stressful month. More ways than one. Summer's almost over. I'm very excited about that. And into fall, which is my favorite season coming up. So, um, super excited, super pumped for September to be a good month. The best month yet of this year. I have a feeling, and I hope y'all are feeling the same thing. So, let's get into it. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is, of course, beauty products. And I have quite a few new beauty products. Um, so, uh, the first one is one that I had a while ago, but I just, like, fell in love with it again because it's, like, I'm redoing my whole like makeup thing, so um, I'm kind of just been using the same product. And I took this one out because um, I had a big mirror and I didn't have a mirror for the time, so I was using this for all. My, so I wanted the mirror, but then I was like, oh, I might as well use the bronzer. I think this bronzer is without a doubt the prettiest bronzer I've ever used on my face. Like I'm obsessed with it. I will probably just use this for the rest of the year. It is by Marc Jacobs in 102 Tantric. And it's honestly just a really, really nice matte finish. It doesn't look make you look muddy or cakey. I just think it's amazing. I love how big the mirror is. The mirror is huge, which is why I started using it. But to be honest, I just think this is good for all skin tones. I'm Sometimes I'm really tan, sometimes I'm really pale. You guys know I spray tan, so I'm like up and down with my tan. And it just looks good with no matter what color my skin is. It's like it's like a miracle bronzer. I really like it. It's, it is a higher end brand, but I just think it's so gorgeous and just worth it because you get so much product in it. And I've literally been using that all month. And as you guys can tell, like, I mean, it's not even close to being all used up. Um, I did kind of... Um, break it so it doesn't like snap kind of just like stays open but I think it's because I like dropped it or something um this one I took with me to New York and I really just loved it I got it from the Kelly Osborne matte collection it is this like little eyebrow duo and again I just find this awesome because if I want a more casual eyebrow I fill it in with this and if I want more dramatic I fill it in with this um I guess I just never realized the importance of brow powder um before I used this in New York and I got so many compliments on my eyebrows I said ah I should use it more often. Then for foundation this month, you guys will see this in a beauty haul. I'm a little bit behind on my editing my videos, so forgive me if um, some of this stuff will be repeated in a haul. But this MAC uh, Matchmaster SPF foundation in 4.0 is like the best thing ever. I know so many people are like over MAC. They're like too cakey, too much. I personally love it. It gives flawless cover coverage, and my skin has not been great. You can see a little bit breakouts here, but honestly, there's breakouts over here that you cannot see. It is flawless. It covers up so much. Yeah, for everyday wear, it can be a little heavy on your face, but if you're someone like me, if you guys watch my second channel, my Trisha's Life channel, you see I don't wear makeup every day, so I don't wear, I just don't wear any makeup when I don't want to have a cake face, but when I want coverage, it's this nice, it's thick, and it, it, I don't think it breaks you out more so than what you are already, in my experience. I mean, I have broken out, I was breaking out way before this, you know what I mean, and I don't notice, like, more breakouts or anything like that. I just think, um, it's a really great coverage. If you're really self-conscious, if you have like skin problems, or you're just self-conscious about acne spots, acne bumps, this stuff is amazing. It'll cover everything. Like, without a doubt, the best full coverage I've ever used. Um, then I got MAC mascara. So I got my makeup done at a MAC store um, a couple weeks back, and so I had to buy a bunch of product, and I actually love this. This came with the... Um, the, the makeup session, I guess, and she just picked out the best MAC. She's like, what, do you have a preference of what mascara you want? I said, no, because I never really use it. I honestly love it. It's a two-part MAC, um, what do you call it? It's a two-part mascara thing, so it's like step one, step two, and honestly, I love it so much. I think it just gives you a really dramatic, dramatic lash, so sometimes I'm good with just getting away with just mascara and, like, concealer. Speaking of concealer, I also took this one to New York and I just fell in love with it so much. Um, this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium 1 Custard. So super brightening. This is the only one I use. Sometimes I choose the Matte Prep and Prime first, but it's the only one I use. It does not crease. It is the best liquid concealer that does not crease. I have the worst creasing on my eyes just because I got bags and natural wrinkles under there. Honestly, it just brightens up my face and makes me feel so like young and vibrant and youthful. 
And then for lip products, I have been loving this Soft Lips Little Cube. And if you guys watch my Trisha Select channel, you know that I kind of like raved about this because um, since I got my lip injections, um, I they got really, really chapped, more so than they normally are. And I've been using this so much better than EOS or Baby Lips. It's just so moisturizing and it makes your lipstick go on better. Um, I put it on before I put on any lip product. For lip product, I'm going to have to get up for Tom Ford. My makeup artist uses these all the time when he does my lips or a nude lip. It is the best combo ever. So flippin' gorgeous. Um, this one's a brand new one. This is the Tom Ford Blush Nude. Um, and I had to purchase it because he uses it every time. And I've had a, quite a few events that I've gone to this month. So um, I needed it and it was just like the most amazing thing. So this is like really pretty. Now what I do use, I use this for touch-ups because he did put this. This I've been using like crazy. This is the Tom Ford um, Naked 01 Gloss, the Ultra Shine Lip Gloss. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is the best. So he's like, you should get the gloss for touch-ups. And it is so creamy, so moisturizing. It is so beautiful. It's kind of goes flesh tone. It's just so gorgeous, not sticky. Um, I have a convertible and I've been putting the top down a lot and like my hair will whip in it and you think it would stick it It just stays it does not go anywhere. It's like a really it's almost like a lipstick, but a gloss finish It's weird. I love it. I, I swear by it um, And then the final sort of beauty thing is perfume. Um, this is the juicy couture I don't I guess just couture by juicy couture. It smells so good. It is like the adult version of the juicy couture like, you know, the regular perfume bottle that kind of looks like this, except not gold. It's like just a grown-up version of it, and it's so clean and just beautiful. You, it smells like you just took a shower and flowers. It smells so good. Um, then on to accessories. These Wi-Fi earrings are just life right now for me. They're um, little Wi-Fi's. <laughs> and you guys know I love, like, big gaudy earrings, and I thought they were, like, the cutest thing ever. I wore these quite often, and people were like, these are so crazy. I just like to jazz up, like, a simple outfit with these. I got these from Shop Jean. I think I have a coupon code that still works. I don't know. I think it's, like, I love Trisha. If it, if it works, I'll link it below. Um, hopefully it works, fingers crossed, but I love Shop Jean. It's, like, my obsession. And then the other accessories I got were these. I got this cross necklace from Tiffany's, and then I actually also got this, may shock you guys, a Star of David necklace as well. And I like to wear them both together. And I will tell you why. Because I noticed Elvis wore a Star of David and a cross. And I said, oh, that's weird. I always kind of th I knew he was Protestant. So I said, why does he wear a Star of David? I kind of looked into it more. I guess his mom has Jewish heritage. So based on the mom being Jewish, you're Jewish sort of thing. But um, he actually wore it too, he said, because there was a great quote. He says, I don't want to miss out on heaven through a technicality. Meaning, like, who knows what's right in this world? Religion is so debatable and... One thing that's not debatable with God is real. God exists, and both the Jewish and the Christian faith both believe in God and a higher power and a Messiah. And so I kind of do like the idea of um, going with both religions, and, and I think it kind of opens me up more. I'm very Catholic, and I'm very vocal about it, but I, I like the idea of um, wearing both to show that I'm very open-minded and learning about both people's religions. And you guys have to understand that a lot of my videos are trolling and not my actual thoughts. So I hope you guys know that by now. And I'm cutting down on the trolling because, like I said, I, I realize that a lot of you guys like me for me. And I'm trying to be comfortable with that. It's very it's a new thing for me that people like me for me. So bear with me when you can. Um, okay. Now on, I'll save the food stuff for like after. My bag of the month has been this YSL bag in cobalt blue. I got this in New York as well. And I saw it and I just fell in love with the color. I never buy blue bags. I don't really even own that much blue. But it just, it really just spoke to me. I don't know. I walked in and I said, it's beautiful. I kind of wanted to get a Louis bag because they're just a lot more affordable. But I was just like, I need this bag. It's so pretty. It's small enough that I don't, I'm not going to like be weighing myself down with like a ton of stuff like my sling bag. I just throw so much in it. I love my sling bag. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty much my daily bag, but it does get really, really heavy. So this is a nice alternative when I kind of just want to like go somewhere quick. I just throw my wallet in here and it's just lighter to carry around. But like if it's a full day event that I'm going to, I bring my sling. But I have been loving this bag so much. It is so soft and so pretty. And um, yeah, I'm a big fan of YSL. It's just, it's a little overpriced. For just that you know what I mean like if it's a cool looking bag but it's a little overpriced but it just it spoke to me I needed it then just a few um I have one fashion piece which I normally I realize I don't normally include fashion in my favorites video but I just am so in love with this and it's still on the site so I really wanted to share it with you guys just in case you fell in love with it as well it's this wild fox sweater and wild fox makes the softest sweaters these sweaters are so soft and again I know they're so overpriced but I'm willing to pay the overpriced when it's something so soft and just, oh, cuddly. I live for their sweaters and their 
throw overs and this is so nice it is so forgiving if you have I have big arms and I love that this is forgiving and not super tight and what I love is it it's a sweater that comes in at the waist if you guys can see right there so it's like a ballet sort of sweater it's very low hanging you can wear it off the shoulder you can put a little tank under it under it whatever you want wear it over a dress um, it's just really soft the color is beautiful and then the back says wild fox like this I think it's just so pretty and Barbie and ballerina-esque I just I just absolutely love this sweater so much. It's without a doubt. I own quite a few Wild Fox jumpers, and this is my favorite. It's very, like I said, and it's also very forgiving. I'm a large in Wild Fox, and um, it's very forgiving. They, they do make their stuff very loose and baggy in nature, so if you're worried about, like, it not fitting you or something like that, it will. I mean, obviously, I'm plus size, and I fit into it. Um really well it's very comfortable fitting and I get so many compliments on it it's so soft it's just perfect it's a perfect transition piece because you can wear that still in the summertime but now that it'll get a little cooler you can wear it as well and you know baby pink's just a universal uh universally like seasonal color that you can just wear whenever it's just girly and soft and pretty and I'll put that back there to add a little color because it's gorgeous and then for accessories, I have gotten these. Again, this will be coming up in a mall haul. Um, this is my Dolce & Gabbana glasses. And I only have one other pair of Dolce & Gabbana. In fact, my first um, designer pair of sunglasses was Dolce & Gabbana last year. And I saw these in my mall at the Sunglass Hut. So pretty basic and pretty simple, affordable for luxury brand. And I thought they were so cute. I just liked the shape of them. Um, but I love the inside. I think the inside is super cute. And I know that's such a little detail that doesn't matter because you won't even see. But I just thought these were super cute. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. It makes me feel like a 1960s movie star. Just I just think they're so classic and pretty. And I like that they're huge and oversized because I have a huge and oversized head. <laughs> And then, um, this is kind of a random one, but I started carrying this in my purse because when my mom and I went on audition for a show together, it was so hot in the casting room, I really thought I was going to pass out. And I saw a lady have a fan, and I said, that's a good idea. So I got a Hello Kitty fan, S in Rio, and honestly guys, this has come in handy so much more than you guys know. Like, oh my gosh, especially when it gets, like, so hot. Even, you know, even now we're going to get in the cooler months, like, there are times that I've been in, like, a casting office or an office in general that's just so hot, and it just, this really cools you down so much. It's actually pretty cool here today, but it is so amazing. It's like having a little personal air conditioning. I just think these are the best things ever, and they're so cute and girly and fun. And then the final thing is some food and healthy stuff, because I have been trying to get a little healthier, not skinny, not thin, just healthier, um, more energy, and uh, so in love with both of these. Um, again, if you're on my Trisha's Life channel, you've seen me eat these at the, going to the gym, I like to have these in the morning or for lunch um, as a meal replacement, the cookies and cream plus bars our life. Shane just recently told me that they have cookie dough quest bars and I'm all about that. I'm ordering them on Amazon but these cookies and cream is so good. It is like eating just Oreo cookies and it's just amazing. They're not that crazy in calories if you're a calorie counter. Really good at protein. Um, no sugars. I mean it's just so, I mean not no sugars but one gram. Protein 21 grams. It's just, it's great. And it's good for like a meal replacement. I know some people eat these as snacks, but for me, I need it as a meal replacement just because I need to get my portions under control for when I do eat. And then I found these at the GNC store. So good. And I was like, Shane loves Reese's. So when he was over here, I was like, dude, you gotta try this. He's like, no, they're like bomb. And he like, he's like a Reese's connoisseur. These are so good. These are the Quest Craving Protein Peanut Butter Cups. So freaking they taste just like Reese's. Like to me, they taste just just like Reese's. Refrigerate these babies. Mm. So when you do want something sweet, I feel like this is a better alternative because it has like the protein in it and not so much sugars. And then the final thing, I got these at Target. I thought they were the cutest things ever. And it goes with my nails. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vitamins. They're gummy vitamins, and they're so yummy. Oh my god, I had fruit chews. Okay, well I have fruit chew vitamins that were in my mall haul, but. I guess it's not a favorite, but these are my favorite because they taste so good. They're so yummy, and I just love taking vitamins. I love putting vitamins in my body. Just a psych thing that makes me feel healthier, which I'm sure there's, like, nutrients in it, obviously, as well. But I love gummies. These remind me of childhood so much. And it has all the vitamin A, vitamin B, C, and D, and E. And I just, I need vitamins because I don't eat good enough. And I need to, and I'm going to start eating better, but I love it. Natural colors and flavors and gluten-free and Ninja Turtles. What could be cooler than that? 
So that's it for me guys. That is it for my August favorites and um, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos and thank you guys from the bottom of my heart that you guys have to be a bonus favorite this month for getting me to 1 million subscribers. It is beyond anything I could ever imagine, comprehend, ask for. Like I just, I don't understand it. I don't get it. But I'm so appreciative of it and honestly, I do know I get so much hate and I know a lot of it I bring on myself so I'm not crying boohoo people hate me but there's so much love that people actually genuinely like me and follow me and my second channel Trisha's Life which is just me doing the most boring things like my laundry and you guys watching and supporting and saying Trisha you're awesome makes me feel so freaking good you don't even know I need you guys so much in my life like I need you guys and I'm so happy that I can help some of you because you have no idea how much you help me just saying I love you we all want to feel loved and you guys know I'm lacking that love department and people caring about me in my life department so knowing that someone just saying that and hearing that means so much to me and that there's a million of you that are supporting me doing whatever it is I'm doing I don't even know what I'm doing in this world in this life um thank you from the bottom of my heart and thank you guys so much for watching this and I just I'm gonna try and just be as real as I possibly can with you guys and just continue to just talk with you guys that's what my channel is people ask me what I do on YouTube and I say I just talk I just talk and share my life with you guys and I like that and in turn I like that you share your lives with me so thank you so much thank you for watching thank you for loving and I'm gonna go ahead and go but until next time hi to Rip Moranis and here are my kissies for my little baby fishies mm -hmm.